So, I have this coil. It's a Captain Z wound clockwise counterclockwise thing with 64, 32, and 16. This is a driver portion of it. It's two layers plus half a layer on the top. And right now at 1.8 megahertz. This is along the ground line, which I'm going to just need plugged in. The, um, this is the signal on the ground side. Like, that's, this is being driven by a signal generator at plus or minus two and a half volts, I think. Right, five volts peak to peak with a sine wave at 1.8 megahertz. If I go down to 1.9798 something, um, then on the other side, on the non-grounded side, I get power. Still have some power on the ground side, I guess. Maybe if I move it all the way down there. So it can do one LED actually pretty brightly. Well, that's blue. It doesn't count. Okay. But if I disconnect the ground, it all goes out. But I can go up to 1.2 megahertz, and my output is, is a pure differential at that point. And I get both sides. And I can disconnect the middle ground on that because that's just feeding back and forth to itself. Um, pretty sure I can't do that with the others. So, this is along the, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 volts at a point along the, um, ground, because the ground comes out with this wire, goes through this loop, goes into the screen wire, and the screen wire is eventually plugged into a computer plug, but it's not connected to anything. And when I reconnect it, I have a lower signal. I have a longer wire there, I guess. Eventually that goes to the wall, but here in Nevada, here we don't have good ground. So I go back down to 9, and disconnect the ground, and that goes out. So, can I retune it without the ground? No, that's as high as it is, because the left and right side of that is in sync. It's not 180 out of, out of phase. And I can ground this. No, I can ground this. And then I get some power out. Uh, on both sides, apparently. Well, that's really the orange side. The yellow side shouldn't count. So I have to go up to 1.8 megahertz. 8. And then that should be the blue side. And if I disconnect the ground, it goes out because it needs the ground. But, you know, connected, disconnected on the, the LEDs, it doesn't matter. Um, so, 1.8, 1.2, and 9. Now, if I just move the ground to the other side, then at 1.8 I get nothing. At 1.0, I get the blue, which is the non-grounded side. So, I have a little more power available. A little more voltage available. I shouldn't say power.
So now that's five LEDs, which is you know twenty-five volts or something. This says five, ten, fifteen. Have fifteen volts. So those must be three volts. And I don't have another frequency that makes the orange light up. I can't get the blue line. I would think at double it should be there. This is 2.6. If I move the other side. Okay, so I can get two LED, two orange LEDs, which are one and a half volts, on the other side. And that's again the microphone signal. So, and this is on. No, the ground side. So the ground side, I can get two LEDs lit this way. And that's if the ground is to this end of the coil. The other saying is the ground is on this end of the coil, which is the outside. This actually goes through a hole and through the center of this out. This is the other connection. So that's one side of it. That's a driver. That's a driver. And, uh, yep, that's about it.